Hey, Jay. Hey, Dan. Uh, so, this is Sonic Drift 2. I noticed that there's a split screen of Sega Game Gear. Yeah, because it's simulating two Game Gears hooked up together, so... That's actually kind of cool, which is something I never thought I'd say about anything Game Gear related. Game Gear is pretty fucking Except for neat. Tales Adventure. So, we would be hooked up right now with a, uh... A um, link cable. Oh. Uh, so when I hit versus, it took over yours because they're oh. communicating to each other at okay. that level. So let's go ahead and select our drivers. Okay. Because of how weird this is, only one of us can select at first, and it's me. So I'm okay. going to take. You know, some Dan, tails, he's the I've, best. I've played a certain Sonic racing game. Uh huh. Was this made before or after it? This was made before it. Uh, let me go. Really? And pull I'm, up how long I'm horrified. Before. Who did you select? I selected Tails, which is why he's no longer there. Okay. Oh, okay. Who the fuck is Fang? I thought. Oh, was he's like from Fang. Triple Trouble. Which... Oh, okay. Because I'm like looking at him, I'm like, oh, it's it's Big the Cat. No. No, that's hungry. I guess I guess Fang has been cat. about as forgotten as. I, wait yeah. a second. Sonic doesn't. Sonic's team never fucking forgets about stupid shitty ass characters they made. They seem to. I need to check if that Sonic shirt I have has Fang on it, because I know, don't think it does. Picking Amy Rose turned out well for me last time. I did. Uh, yeah. I pl no. in, the, in Sonic R, it turned yeah, out great. That was a fantastic fucking experience. Uh, so, let me go ahead and show off the courses we got here uh, uh -huh. Emerald Hill, Dark Valley, Death Egg, Mystic Cave, Hilltop 1, Casino Night. Yeah. Uh, so, these are all based on two. Uh -huh. uh, Sonic Drift 1, all based on one. Uh huh. Uh, but Sonic Drift 1, as okay. they probably saw, total turd. Okay. So, have you ever played games like Outrun or Pole Position? Pole Position sounds familiar, yes. Okay, so it's that fake 3D, 2D look. Yeah, I would imagine. And you need to look sort of up on your map oh, to see what's yeah. coming up. Okay. I have. So, X goes. Uh, or, sorry, A goes. Oh, shit. He's gonna break. And that'll make it easier oh, to drift. Apparently, apparently rear ending you just stops me. Oh. Yeah, and if you want to drift, you hold the B button and push a direction. But you can, like, overdrift and peel out. Okay, um, holding B just made me stop. Oh, shit, I hit a tree. Yeah. Oh, fuck. You need to also hold your accelerator, because you're What's using your... it as a brake. Wait, what? Yeah, to, to make tighter cr oh. corners, you just... Oh, okay, I yeah. see that now. All right. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, this actually isn't horrible. Let's, I mean, it's not that good, but... I actually find it really enjoyable. I owned it as a kid. And, right. And, like, when we went to play Sonic Drift 1, I was like, Oh, God, was 2 this bad? And I just... I right. didn't know. Oh, it's always God. great whenever your childhood betrays you. Usually I don't have that problem, which made it all the more horrifying. Oh, okay. This is... Whoa, shit. Yeah, uh, so something else that's interesting. You're getting rings and stuff, right? Yeah. Um, so... You'll notice when you have two or more rings, you can use a special power um, when you push up. For tails here, that's a jump. So I can totally cheese corners oh, by just... Shit, I keep like spinning out whenever I go take those turns. Here. Okay, try not using the brake then. Yeah, I just... I seem to drift just by... Yeah, it doesn't really... And you turn, but yeah. like to really drift, you need to use the okay. brake. But but it's not... You don't need to hold it too much. You can just like tap it. Oh, okay. See, so that's probably my mistake. Oh, yeah. Shit. Oops. Yeah, I've definitely uh, seen the pole position uh, similarities, which... Yeah, which wow, I in I my opinion, much better than pole position, but you know. Yeah. Oh, God. It's been like, mean. what, 15 years ago for me? 20? Shit. Since you touched the GameCube or... Oh, no. Jesus Christ, no. <laughs> I mean, since I played pole position... Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that I'm about to say, Dan, we sense. played, like, you know, A lot Smash. of Smash. Yeah, in the last, like, eight years or so. So, yeah, it's no way in hell that could be true. So we can go to Casino Night, because I like Casino Night. Plus, I also own a Game Boy player, Oops, so, of I course... I should have gone back to uh, Yeah, yeah of course. Plus, the GameCube wasn't out 15 years ago. Right. <laughs> Unless I'm a time traveler. I think... I think the deal with Amy is that she, her special move, oh, when shit. she gets enough rings for it, is like hearts, and it stuns me. Wow, these are really tight corners. Yeah. So we're also picking up these uh, boxes, which these people who are watching will know what they do, but to explain to you, the red one makes you go fast when you push up. 
Wait, why would they know and me not? Uh, because they saw Drift 1. <laughs> You're assuming they watched all these? Well, who watches Drift 2 and not Drift 1? Maybe they know Drift 1's a pile of ass and don't want to expose themselves <laughs> to it. Then again, um, I would I would assume the Let's Play community is full of sick fucks who just... Oh, it, really? It, you could just whittle that down to the Gigaboots community? <laughs> <laughs> who want to see us Let's Play Lords of Shadow 2 for the second time? <laughs> what? Yeah. Because the other time was a live stream. They want it, yeah. they want it saved for posterity. Dan, you don't have friends, or you don't have fans. Uh, no, no those... I, I have people who hate me. <laughs> you know, like, the worst thing my fans are like, talk about Battle of Gods again. And I'm like, ugh, oh, it sucked dick. What else do you want? That's kind of the same thing, I feel. But the thing is, though, like, Battle of Gods is over in, like, less than two hours. Absolutely. Like, that, that is true. <laughs> like, uh, Lords of Shadow, like, that's a fucking commitment, like... I mean, Lords like, of I Shadow 2... Like, I have to put a ring on it. Lords of Shadow 2 is 13 hours. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Like, I just was not moving. Oh, I think you just... Yep. <laughs> okay, and let's get a fuller video so that way this, this looks nicer for YouTube. I'm gonna go ahead and yeah. jump out. Um, and as we've said before, this is uh, the Sonic Gems collection on the GameCube. Yep. Oh shit, wrong one. Oh. Uh, and no, you don't get to see Sonic the Fighters right now. Sad face. Sad. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put this GameCube controller down. Yes, you are safe now. Alright, that was... that wasn't terrible. Not no. really my thing, but uh, not terrible. Yeah. Um... I'm not... I've never played Super Mario Kart, so... On the I, Super NES? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I'm assuming that's the name of that one. Is it just Mario Kart or is it Super Mario Kart? I think it's Super Mario Kart. Okay. Like I said, like, I never played that one, so I don't know if this is better or worse than that. I'm... I like it more. Bob doesn't. Wait, uh, you like this more, or...? I like this more. Really? Okay. Uh, personally, but, but... then again, you know, Bob hates anything that isn't Mario Kart, so... Uh, yeah, see, that's the problem. Bob yeah. really, really... Like, it sounds like we're making it up. No, yeah. Bob's never liked a kart racer that wasn't Mario Kart. Yeah, because, what was it? Uh, both him and Eric had decided that uh, Mod Nation Racers was garbage. Which is weird, because Eric likes Crash... Team, team Racing? Was it Crash Team? Well, he I, likes Crash Team Racing. Okay. Oh, I yeah. like Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah, okay, that's what it is. You like Diddy Kong, he likes Crash. And I like Diddy Kong Racing for things that stand... Things that are true aside from how it plays. Like, it has one of the best story modes in single players in any kart racer ever. You know, it doesn't even need the one of. It has the best. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's really good. Like, really, really good. I'm not this person who's, like, sitting there and jaded by, like, nostalgia or anything like that, not, like, overly corrupted by that. Right. I, I just, it, like, you, yeah. It took everything good about Mario 64, turned it into a racer. Um, yeah. Okay. It's good shit. Um, Mod Nation's really good, too. Yeah. Well, I love Mod Nation, actually. I was saying, like, I, I spent so much time in the creative character. If they just made a 60 frame per second Mod Nation for the PS4, that yeah. that would be great. That would yeah. be incredible. That'd be fan fucking fantastic. I would totally buy Mod Nation too. The thing that pissed me off though that, that that team was sent off to go make Little Big Planet karting, and I'm like, yep. Ah, uh, like a, a, like Little Big Planet karting was okay. Mod Nation was better. Now, why do you think that is? Um, the controls were because okay, like basically you know like. Uh, Little Big Planet had, you know, very floaty jump stuff. And that's fine for, like, that kind of platformer that they yeah. were going for. Mm -hmm. uh, when you apply those same kind of floaty physics to a kart racer, it's weird. Okay, so you thought the physics were floaty. Yeah. Is why. Okay. Yeah, there's that, and just... The, the, the customization just wasn't there. Like, you know, the level of customization yeah. you had in Mod Nation was fantastic for, like, the tracks, for the characters, especially the characters. You saw the crazy shit I made in Mod Nation. Yeah. Like, I, I support hours make, recreating all kinds of crazy-ass shit in that uh, game. And you you were, you were focused mostly on driving. The yeah. drivers. Yeah, um, I, I did mostly the drivers. If, I also created some tracks, but, like, you know, if thinking I'm, around with, like, the, the, the customization options and... Um, in uh, Little Big Planet carding, you know, it was just like, okay, well, it's Little Big Planet, so you have like these little li little Big Planet assets, and I felt more limited in yeah. terms of like, you know, how unique I could make a track because you know it was all these, you know, big, you know, giant small things, you know. Yeah, like 
a microscopic perspective on yeah. So it was just like you normal know, size things. So you know, like a giant pencil. Yeah, things like that, and that to me just wasn't as interesting as far as level design went. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I was just kind of disappointed by that aspect. And like yeah, the the, the complete lack of customization you know, for the uh, for the for your sack boys or sack girls, whatever uh-huh. you want to call them. Um, sack vestites. Yes, the sack vestites. Um, oh, it was like sax, sax gendered. Yeah, sax gendered. gendered. Yeah, there we go. Let's see who gets <laughs> offended by that term. I, I would love it if somebody <laughs> got really upset over sack vesti or sax, <laughs> sax gender. <laughs> but um, yeah, like you, you, you know, it had about as much customization as Little Big Planet does, which is you know, it's just costumes. It's only costumes. Mm-hmm. So you know, I couldn't do really cool, creative things with that, like I could with Mod Nation. You know, like like the stickers yeah. in Mod Nation were freaking amazing. Like you could add depth to them, you could layer them, you could do really cool stuff. And with LBP carding, you just couldn't. It was still a fun game, yeah. it just wasn't Mod Nation. Yeah, I came so close to winning there. Right. There's Amy. That Bye, bitch. Amy. Thanks, Amy. Well, she has to win something. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait till you get the Chronicles, that way you can hear, like, how much Sonic just shits all over Amy. No. She is, she is I, the best. I can wait for that. That <laughs> is one of the things I'm least looking forward to about really? Sonic Mo- Yes. Why is that one the one you- like, You've never even played that game, so you have no clue what you're even in for. I've heard music from it, okay? That's- I honestly can't even remember the music. Yeah, that says a lot. It has one of the worst- It has the worst Sonic song I've ever heard. Really? Yes. That's interesting. And I've heard a lot of Sonic music. Well, yeah, you're doing Sonic Month, for fuck's sake. But, uh, <laughs> but, I would like, hope so. But yeah, like, the gameplay, I always thought the gameplay was pretty solid. I don't uh, know. I, I like, we'll, we'll see when we get there. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, if I'm there for that one, I am. Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude, somebody's gotta be there who played enough of it to right. defend it or trash it or whatever. Right. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, because I never, like, I even played it not that long ago to see if I still enjoyed it. I'm gonna see if I can get further in the story, but I just don't have time to play an RPG, unfortunately. Yeah. Like, I can do Pokemon, because that's a mindless time sink. Go forward, hit buttons, fight Pokemon. <laughs> that's uh, every RPG. Not not Sonic Chronicles, because yeah, the combat is elite beat agents. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you actually have to be paying attention and time things and have the stylus in your hand. Can I please get a third ring so I can just win? Oh, son of a bitch, that thing took a ring from me. What a faggot. <sighs> Monster. I still don't know what's with those ramps. They don't look yeah. quite right. Yeah, I kept thinking they were obstacles, so every time you jumped on it, it weirded me Wait, out. I'm Sonic! I'm using my supersonic speed! How did Tails win? Rubber banding. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Thanks, video games! Uh, I'm really glad that I'm playing the Grand Prix so how way you assholes can t- keep shit-kicking me. Oh, well, I'm still in first. Dark Valley, is that from anything you know? I I don't think it's from anything. Like, it may be a Game Gear game. Maybe? I mean, we could never get past the first fucking stage of those, so who the hell knows? Uh, uh, yeah, well, we got past the first stage of one. Now, now two! Two oh, right. just fucking fuck you, buddy. I could have sworn you got stuck on that. No, wait, that's right. The first boss in one was such a ridiculous pushover that there was no way for you to fucking fucking lose that. The second boss, it gave you no goddamn rings, and it was just a normal boss, so you got your ass reamed. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. I had kind of forgotten that. Yep. I just oh my like god. That, I just remember that quick play ending very abruptly. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. I run out of Sonic really anything to talk about, Dan. You feed me something. Okay. So hey. Uh I watched an episode of the Sad M. Oh, the the, the yeah. good one? Yeah. Okay, how'd that go for you? Uh so they went to a temple of time mm-hmm. to get the time stones to go back in time and stop Robotnik from turning everything into robots. Okay. So they're at this temple of time. Yeah. And they have to answer a a riddle. Okay. The answer to the riddle is time. Okay. So that's pretty dumb. But then they get the t- the st- uh, time stone, right? Mm-hmm. To go back in time. Oh, whatever. I have this thing. It's kind of weird that, like, like whenever an opponent jumps off the screen, they're actually they're over the map. map. Yeah. That's weird. 
Well, you know, limitations. Right. Uh, what was it? So, so time stones, right? They pick it up, and like they they say something like, "You two need to have your thinking perfectly in sync in order to arrive at the same place correctly." So she okay. she's like, "Sonic, keep in mind, blah blah blah, the fountain or whatever." Uh -huh. You know, she's trying to get him to remember a place any year. And then he fucks it up by thinking about chili dogs. <laughs> what a fucking gold standard of a cartoon. Uh, I approve of that. Yeah? <laughs> I, I, I I love chili dog love and Sonic. I, I, I mean, I do too. I the fuck that is in canon. What was it? Uh, wait, oh wait, I think they did make that canon in the later games. Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, because uh, I think like, even in Generations he may have been eating a chili dog or something. Yeah, and I think about. there's some sort of uh, reference to it even in Colors. Yeah. I think that's right. Okay. Yeah, because I thought like um, there was like, you know, that they oh, made that. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I need to stop hitting Which that is stick. really weird to think that, they, that that's like, the one thing from Sad Am they made canon. Not like Grimdark, Scary as Shit Robotnik, not the post apocalyptic elements. Not, like, any of the really cool characters that that series created. Yeah, I, I actually, we, we had a conversation about that, um, about how funny it is. Oh my god, I don't, I'm getting my shit kicked in. It's kind of funny in the worst way, but... It's, it's, it, it, no, it's hilarious that some people tasked to make characters for a, a game franchise come up with better characters than they have to some extent. Like, I'm not saying they're gold. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, yeah, when I think about those characters, you know, like, like even that shitty... Oh, what the hell was it? Was he... A, the, the French one. Francois, the, the, I think, Yeah, Francois. Shit? Yeah. Yeah, like, of like, course even, he's French. He's the fancy one. Yeah. Like, e even he, you know, like, as a shitty character was still... He's better than Amy? Yeah, Amy I'm fine with. Yeah. Yeah, she, What's the defining characteristic of Amy? She's a cockhound. Uh, yeah. Well, Great. She, she's completely dick hungry for Sonic's blue chili dog. What do you want from me? Yeah, exactly my point. Like, Amy's not cool because oh, yeah. all, she doesn't fit as a playable character in a Sonic game. Right. And she gets a hammer in advance. Yeah. Yeah. Or one of the advanced titles. Yeah, she, it's all of them. Yeah, all that, that, that's her gameplay mechanic, is she has a hammer. Yeah, so it's just like... Well, she has a hammer in Sonic Boom, Dan, so, you know, and you're looking Shut at the fuck up about Sonic Boom. I don't want to believe that's a real game, okay? Well, it's not just a game. It's it's two games, and it's oh also... Oh, my God. It's, it, it's also a cartoon that's going to revitalize the Sonic franchise no, and make everything right again, It's Dan. not. Check this out. Oh, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Nice little effect. A little half pipe. It's that's pretty neat. neat. Speaking of things that are neat, Sonic Boom. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna be real. Sonic Boom is worse than any of the Game Gear titles we've played. I. Do you know how I know this? Because those Game Gear titles weren't the future of Sonic. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I've given up on giving a shit about Sonic. Like, after Sonic Lost World had good ideas and. And completely fucked it up. cocked up the execution. Yeah. And the fact that, like, Generations is, at best, at very fucking best, mediocre. Yeah, people, like, treat it like the second coming of fucking Sen uh, Sonic Jesus. Yeah. Or Hedgehog Jesus. Okay, we had something yeah. mess up there for a moment. Yep. You said, uh, second coming of Sonic Jesus, Sonic yeah. Generations, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that whole, like, you know, we treat it like that, but it's just, like, and that, like I said, at that very best, that game is mediocre. You know? And I just gave up because, like, they're you know, like this fandom is you know so fucked at this point that they'll accept anything as good, like you know, fucking Sonic of Gods and shit. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just Sonic like, Battle of Gods. Yeah, like it's just it's everything's just dead to me. Like you know, fandoms everything. suck. Everything sucks. Everyone <laughs> fucking enjoys all the shittiest things ever. Lords of Shadow is a new fucking standard for Castlevania, and I will never fucking be happy in life, Daniel. It's over. Yeah, I'm gonna go uh -huh. blow my fucking brains out. And that's how you know it's Sonic Month. 